All right, Israeli forces conducting retaliatory attacks on Hezbollah targets. IDF releasing this video of its missile strikes across the Israel-Lebanon border. It comes as the Pentagon now confirms there have been 48 attacks on U.S. forces in the Middle East since October 17th. Let's bring in former Green Beret and leader of Task Force Pineapple, Lieutenant Colonel Scott Mann. Scott, it's great to see you again hey, well. this morning. Um, I'd love to pick hey, well. up on these retaliatory strikes for just a moment. This week on the Will Kane podcast, I had two unique voices um, as part of this conversation. I had Senator Rand Paul, who looks at these strikes in Syria and Iraq and says, this to him is a tripwire into a larger regional conflict. And as such, America should bring those troops out of Syria, back home to America. The other voice I had on the podcast was yours, Scott Mann, who says the United States and Green Beret and Special Forces have a very important role across the globe in maintaining our national interest. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I understand where Senator Paul's coming from, Will, but my piece on this is that we have to understand the, the enemy's will and capacity. And while China and Russia, they, pose a, they definitely pose a threat, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, even Hamas and Hezbollah, these groups have global reach, and wherever they set up shop, it, it's going to be in an at-risk, undergoverned area. And we have specialized organizations that are designed to either take them out or to mobilize locals to make them to be an antibody to them. And if we don't do that, then we leave ourselves completely vulnerable at home, as we learned on 9-11. And, and Scott, what do we do now in response to those forces being hit with Iranian proxy attacks? Yeah, I mean, what we, one thing is, is, is we're going to have to harden because these secondary and tertiary attacks are going to escalate. Um, and the more the U.S. is perceived as involved in any capacity with Israel, the more those attacks are, are, going, are going to come their way. But I don't think we take our foot off the gas uh, with targeting ISIS. I don't think we take our foot off the gas with targeting uh, Al Qaeda. But the only thing I would just throw out there, uh, Will, is to remember also that we ha it's, it, it's more than just surgical strike. It's also working with local people to stand up on their own and be an antibody, which is what we were doing in Afghanistan when we walked away from our allies. Working with local people for them to stand up on their own. That's part of a philosophy that I know you believe to your core, not just abroad, but at home here as well. You've termed it a bottom-up philosophy. And I mentioned that you were on the Will Kane podcast this week. You and I have gotten to know each other over the last couple of years and worked together pretty intimately over the last couple of months on some of those exact types of projects. And that's your passion when it comes to veterans and what they're doing in their career post-military. So what's your message here on Veterans Day? Yeah, well, we've been touring all over the country with our play, Last Out, that's about the long war in Afghanistan and talking to citizens at a local level and veterans. And here's the thing, the country is in trouble uh, and nobody else is coming. We saw that when Afghanistan collapsed and, and groups of veterans stood up. Um, our best days are still in front of us, but I think it's going to be veterans and military families that are going to demonstrate what leadership looks like. And, and I know so many veterans, you feel like you just want to fade away. But what we really need veterans to do is to step into the breach, just like Black Rifle Coffee's doing, and lead us into better days. Uh, and whether that's at a community level, familial level, or national level in politics, veterans represent the moral compass of this of this nation, and so do their families. And we need them to lead us into better days. Yeah, and, and you just pointed out, there's so much to do. There's so many problems. So much. And there's no one coming. Don't count Nobody's on the government. Coming. Don't count on some institution. It's you, veterans, and it's you, uh, it's civilians, like you and me together, doing something, and the country can be built, rebuilt from the bottom absolutely. up. Absolutely. And you, yeah, it, absolutely. I, I've seen it. For what it's worth, I've seen it. These aren't just words being preached by Scott Mann here. These are actions being done on a daily basis. And I, for one, am incredibly inspired. I hope you at home are as well. Lieutenant Colonel Scott Mann, really appreciate you. Thanks, Will. Happy Veterans Day to our, to our veterans and our military families. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.